um, we're now going to start our part two of this interview. And I think this is the perfect segue to consume, actually, because now, you know, everyone's talking about consuming what people like um, and then like kind of taking that onto yourself. And uh, so your consume is weird. It's ST consume. So it's like gathering facts and gathering, you know, statistics, data, um, you know, I, I interviewed someone that said, I, I don't like reading books for the story. I just skip through all the boring stories and I want to go straight to the facts and numbers. Um, so I want everyone to talk about uh, their SD consume. I'll, I'll get Margot to talk about last because he's SD consume last. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get him last. But uh, I want Manly to start because he's consumed first. So um, Manly, you are, you are like the pure form of SD consume. Um, so talk about, uh, talk about how you consume facts and and, and whatnot. And it's also double feminine though. So you might like, how's your memory with consuming those facts that you've gathered? Yeah. So I have, I have SE TI consume. Um, the SE is feminine. The TI is masculine. Um, so the way that my consume feels is it feels very much like I'm specifically interested in very particular topics. And then I will consume all the information I can find about that topic. It's not I feel like double mass or masculine SE consume would be kind of like maybe more directed in a specific direction where my consume feels like I'm going to consume from any source. Like, for example, I feel like when I talk to someone about a specific topic, they might say like, okay, what's your source? What's your source? Tell me the source that you got that from. For me, I'm more of a, I'm going to perceive this topic as a wide range of information that I can get from any source that I want. And then I'm going to use my masculine TI to uh, maybe like siphon what I think is most certain to be true. And then that's what I'll send into my other functions to maybe figure out how I'm going to live my life. Um, but it really is like, it's mostly information that I feel like I'm consuming. I don't really feel like I'm a, uh, like a consumer of things as much. Um, I'm not even really a consumer of hobbies. Like the main things I'm intrigued by are psychology which is why i'm involved in this and then um i do like philosophy theology and um i'm also in business because i own a business so i'm constantly consuming information when it comes to business um but i will say uh if there's a problem in my business the first thing that i'll do is um i don't really like call someone and ask them necessarily what the problem is i'll go out and actually observe what is going on very directly so that I can gather unadulterated facts about like, Hey, this is what's going on. Are you following the system? And then I'll ask them what their perspective is maybe. Um, but if I don't go out and actually observe and see and experience what's really going on, I'm not going to fully feel like I can do something about the issue. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, man, I, I love it because uh, you're consuming real things, right? It's not like, you know, abstract things, especially if you're going to go there yourself to consume it. Um, I like how you're also like self above tribe. So when you consume, it's like, I don't want any tribe input on this first. It's what I want to consume first. And then maybe, maybe if I feel like I'll talk to someone later, you know, right. that, that's a big maybe, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'll say one more thing that I meant to say is the first thing I'll do, the way that I handle business or any situation really, is the first thing I'll try to look at is the numbers. So I start by observing the numbers. And then what the numbers show me is going to determine if I go out and do more observing or if I decide to interact with someone. I'm going to observe the cold hard facts, which I would argue that the math, like the numbers themselves are the most ST thing in society. And then I'll scale out and start interacting with people and then make a plan based on that. And then I'll get to blast eventually, praise God, and actually tell people what has to happen. And that's kind of what it looks like, I think, practically speaking. All right. Um, before I jump into asking Joyce, Rob, and Marco um, how your SD consume is, you guys are you guys are strange types, right? You're all you're all like a glass lizard. So um, in Dave and Shan's classes, they talk about where even if your fourth function, even if something is your fourth function, if it's your first two, okay, sorry, sorry. 
even if something's your last animal, if it's your first two functions, they said that you can still do it pretty well. So that, so that question is going to be for Marco later on because you have SE, you have PI and SE as your first two function, right? But you're consumed last, but it's, it's the first two. So, you know, so I'll ask you about that in a second, but I'm also going to be asking Joyce and Rob this because you guys have consumed savior, but it's the bottom two <laughs> function. So this is still like, even though it's, you do it in a savior state, does it stress you out when you do it? Because um, they did a class on that Game of Thrones girl. What's her name? Uh, Macy Williams, is that her name? And uh, she's double activated on the TE at the bottom. And she's in a constant state of stress because she's using her fourth function all day long, right? And it's like stressing her the hell out. So like you guys are using your um, fourth function all day long. So you're doing it in a savior state, but does it stress you out? So first talk about how you use it and talk about like, if you feel the stress or not. Let's start with uh, Rob first. All right. <laughs> Am I stressed out all day? <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the, I was actually came to sort of a revolution about this recently where I was like, oh man, I am like in a demon state like a lot <laughs> where it's like, yeah, I'm just like thinking things through. Um, and it's just sort of not, not my natural state where I'm just kind of a little more free like this, I guess. Um, a little bit loosey goosey. Um, so when when I move to ST consume, it feels like kind of like it's business time. Let's 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 figure this out. Let's let's see how these things actually connect. Um, so we we kind of got a feel for what other people are thinking about this, but does it make sense to me? Like, do, do, can I actually see how like the blocks fit together here? Um, so. Uh, yeah, and like what Manly was saying with like wanting to see it and see it, the things step by step, like that, that's what I have people tell me when I'm trying to de debug stuff at work because I'm, I'm a web developer. Um, so like someone else on my team would come to me with an issue and be like, something's just like not working here. And I'm like, okay, well, what did you do? And he just like starts telling me all this stuff. And I am like, no, just tell me like step by step what you did. So I can actually see like where you just like made some kind of logical jump that doesn't make any sense. And that's what's causing your problem. So, cause I don't know, I, I, I think if you had TE, you might be able to just like throw out a like, ton of stuff. It's like, oh, was it this? Was it this? Was it this? Um, but I just like really want to like use like my understanding of it and see like how he's all fitting together. And since I didn't see that, it's really hard for me to guess, I guess, with the, the demon and I as well. So, I mean, sometimes I do have experience that I can guess from, um, so I'm more comfortable doing it there. But when I, I have no idea what he was doing, it's really difficult for me to do. So I really want that ST step by step, so I can see where the problems are coming from. So, uh, yeah. to to um, add on to that question, Rob. So Manly earlier was saying that he has consumed first, so he'll do like a deep dive on information, and then afterwards he might ask the tribe for information. So that's consume first and then play, right? But your play about consume. So when you're consuming things, are you consuming? To serve the tribe, are you doing? Are you do, are you doing the consume for for other people to help other people, or is it for you? You know. Uh, so that's kind of a tricky question, and sort of the way I think about things with with type, is, in OP is kind of everything sort of works down your animal stack almost. So it is like it, play is like the lens with which I'm viewing everything. So it is like all to serve something. Um, unless you're able to sort of like break free from that. Um, I guess it's like a delusion basically <laughs> um, that that's even the case that I need to serve the tribe. I can't just do something for myself. So that's, that's something that maybe I'm not doing as often, but so most of the time it would be to do something to engage with the tribe. Um, so like a lot of skills, it's like I'm doing this so that I can, I can get better at this so I can engage with the tribe. It's like, uh, I think something just like playing Magic the Gathering, which is a trading card game, just like consuming things, trying to understand the game better so that I can go and play with people and perform at a higher level, that kind of thing, like building up my skills. So it, it sounds like you're upgrading yourself so that you can yeah. play better with a tribe. So you're, you're upgrading a TI. I got to be um, a better robot. Yeah, you can be a better robot, right? You're all robots. <laughs> um, Sorry, guys. 
So okay, yeah, T I. Okay, so um, I want to go with Joyce with this because uh, that it's a it's a perfect uh, segue to Joyce. So you're using the consume to upgrade yourself, your TI, right? But Joyce, she, the boss is not the TI. The NI is the boss, right? So, um, so Joyce, talk about how you consume facts and details yourself because you're it, it's gonna be like you're gonna be forgetting the facts a lot, right? Because it's feminine, um, but. Because you have sleep first as the boss, um, everything you can see. So you're consuming a lot, but it's on like this one topic, a lot on this one topic, right? To build up the system. So talk about like how you are using consume to for yourself and also to build up your your systems and whatnot. Yeah, when I consume, it's to consume information or truth that will affect the future so the ni future and something that will help me better understand and predict how things are going to unfold i related to when manly was talking about how he'll take information from like a variety of sources and he'll use himself as the vetting process so he doesn't really like look for external trustable sources he actually uses himself as the vetting tool like he is kind of like the vetting tool to see, oh, does that make sense? Does that make sense? And I, I do that too. I tend to use myself as the final authority to what is clean data or what is the, the most accurate data. Whereas I, I'm filled with more doubt, I guess, because it, the, the TI is, is still a little lower down. So it is stressful when you're talking about that I doubt myself a lot, actually. So I might do what Manly does, but then I'm filled with doubt that I did it wrong. And then I then want to ask my friends, does this make sense? That is, am I what am I what I'm like, is what I'm thinking actually right? <laughs> so I'll kind of go like, did I TI this wrong <laughs> to, to people? I'm like, eh. so I'm, I'm plagued with self doubt. And I can very easily back down of my opinion sometimes. Uh, yeah, so that's maybe a slight difference is I'll, I'll kind of always go like, is there a hole in what I was thinking? And then I'll overthink that. And then I'll need to go ask someone if what I'm thinking is real. It's almost like I'll gaslight myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like how you're using the tribe as like, the tribe's not scary, so you can bug them all you want and get the information from them while Rob is going to upgrade himself secretly in like a back corner because he's scared of people, right? Like it's like tribe, the tribe is scary. So so he needs to upgrade himself first by himself before he deals with the tribe. But for you, the tribe helps you upgrade yourself, you know? So, because uh, they're not scary. They're just like, oh, okay, they're just people, whatever. I can say whatever I want to them, get away with it. Uh, and <laughs> and uh, I, I think it's interesting that you said that your TI is, you, you doubt your TI because it's masculine and it is lower down, but it's still third. Third is like, you know, pretty, pretty good. Not as good as second and first, obviously, but um, okay. So that, that's interesting. Now, um, the last guy here, the Mr. Consume Last. Yeah, there we go, Mr. Consume Last. This is, this is good. So um, you're sleep first and then you have blast and play, right? Um, yeah. So where, where does the consume come in? Cause it's like a, it's like a weird, uh, it, it's not like a natural um, transition for you. Cause you know, when you, you sleep, naturally you can use consume, right? Because they're touching each other. Um, mm -hmm. But like, where where does the consume come in for you, Marco? But and the weird thing is you have it as your first and second function. So it's last, but it's your first and second function. So technically it can be really good if you practice it. So how do you how do you consume mm -hmm. facts and, or how do you not consume facts? Well, you're absolutely right. If I do put in the hours and the practice, it do become really, really good. Um, but I usually have to go through many drafts um, where every week I try different things because I'm basically uncoachable. I can only teach myself uh, the consume. I cannot learn it through play or even through a person telling me what to do or watching a tutorial. None of that works really. So I have to do like crash and burn all the time. And every week I just come up with a better version. And, and then eventually I get deep understanding of it. And then I eventually master it. But usually I have to go through months of pain before I get the rewards. The good part is when it do enter my box, it stays there for good. Like I'm gonna do this habit for life maybe even. But I do have to go through like a long, long stretch of just pain basically, of frustration. Uh, I can give you an example. I just started to involve like four months ago. 
like from scratch, no prior knowledge or, or muscle memory or whatever to, to this specific endeavor. And it's been extremely painful. Uh, I even hired a coach and so forth. And, and the hardest part is when I do something really well in the SP and hitting the golf club really, really well, it feels like luck. I don't know how I did it. So that makes me, like Jai said, uh, become very un unnerving, basically. I become very doubtful because now I feel the pressure to be able to repeat it with the shot again. Like an IPIM, I need to be the best and become the best and, and so forth. So it's like, how did I pull it off? It's like magic to me when I do something in the SD and it goes well while I'm mastering something, when I get to that point. But until I reach that point, everything is just like, I don't know how I do it. Uh, and, and that's very uh, hard <laughs> in a sense. Um, so yeah, it, it, I'm basically a walking world contradiction. So it can be really amazing or it can be like, you've seen like, like this is all consumed, but you've seen Homer, Homer Simpson when he has to build uh, this uh, barbecue pit. I don't know if you remember it. Uh, build a what, sorry? I didn't hear you. A, a barbecue, when he's building a barbecue in his backyard. Oh, barbecue, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a mess. Like it, nothing, and he's, and that's mainly how it goes for me. Also, he's like pretty uncoachable, right? When you see him, he's just hitting <laughs> buttons, and he, and that's kind of how it is initially for me. And nothing really goes um, too well, so it's a lot of frustration. Man. But um, eventually, it gets good. So it's just like going through the pain. I feel like with your golf, you, you were relying on the fact that you are kinesthetic for you to get away with like hitting really well, you know, because like, you know, you have masculine SE, right? So naturally you're going to be strong yeah. at, at that stuff. So, yeah. but instead of learning the actual proper technique and, and all like the style, it's going to be like challenging for you because uh, like, I, I guess on the front end, you're, you're going to be really good because of the natural masculine SE, double masculine and whatnot. But like, you know, in the long run, it might be difficult for you because you're not consuming the real um, no. technique and stuff to, to do it. Yeah, it comes later, like four months in, I think maybe only a month ago, I finally started to be able to even consume videos where I kind of built the swing and step by step. But it, I, I had to like, uh, it took so long before I was even allowed, could allow myself. I had the like um, the battery, the ability to even consume it. Otherwise just going in and out basically. And so, so it's just a very slow process. <laughs> it's about trusting it basically, yeah. So you're like forcing yourself to go on a tidal wave so that you can access it. Yeah, like absolutely. That's what I do all the time. Expanding the comfort zone and just knowing that reward will be there. It's just uh, crash and burn, crash and burn, crash and burn. I think you're the perfect example of like a double observer because I see Joyce getting worried now when you're saying all that stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Because, yeah, because she, she's, she's uh, you know, you're, Joyce, you're scared of chaos, right? So right. Marco is also like you. She, she, he, uh, he's an IJ, IP, uh, IJ, yeah. IPIJ, yeah, but but absolutely. because he's a double observer, the, the 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 chaos is like, yeah, I prefer not to have it, but it's it's okay if it happens, and he he uses it for himself to upgrade himself, um, so that's uh that's really really interesting how uh how you're using your consume Marco is by forcing yourself to to be triggered <laughs> essentially. There's no other way. There's just no <laughs> other way. O otherwise, I can uh, outsource my consume. That's another one. I love to do that. I select some trusted sources from, from where I can gather, basically through play energy. Uh, so I, I do that with like psychology as well. I was like, oh, OP, I trust it, that's good. You know, and I'm just gonna stay in this lane and consume from, from, from this outlet. Yeah. Okay, so I wanna ask you guys this next dimension of consume. Um, this one I, I learned just recently. Um, so maybe you can chime in with that. I, I will start with Manly first, but um, Apparently, consume is part of self-awareness and also part of knowing yourself, like being able to see yourself because consume is also consuming yourself like as a person. So um, like I, I heard a lot of people who are consumed last that seems to lack that self-awareness. Um, and um, Manly, how do you experience consume when you're consuming yourself? Like not like new information, but yourself. Shoot, bro, that's a complicated question. Um, it is, yeah, sorry <laughs> to drop it, so. Thanks for taking it oh. first. <laughs> oh. You know, uh, geez, my blast is not going to be good here. I'm just going to try to explain. Um, it kind of feels like my goal in life is to self-actualize and become the best version of myself. 
So it does feel like I'm constantly doing a self analysis of what I'm capable of, what my strengths are, what my weaknesses are, and what I need to work on if I want to become a certain certain version of myself that I envision as the most ideal self. Um, and I think I have a pretty realistic view of that. It's very factual based. Um, it's very based on um, the actual results. I'm a very action over words type of person. Words are valuable, but um, I conduct analysis of what I'm truly manifesting into the ST realm. So it's, it's just constantly determining if I am who I should be based on what I'm producing. And then I almost like take what I produce and then I work backwards to determine, okay, what is it that I'm missing that I need to fulfill in order to produce what it is that I want to produce. And I'm just constantly doing that every single day. Every time there's an ST event that takes place in any given moment, I'm going to conduct, conduct analysis of how I did, what I did, and then try and figure out what it is about me that either performed or didn't perform correctly. Um, and I'm just constantly doing that. Um, and I think a good example of what you're talking about is um, I've noticed after analyzing a bunch of other people that something that I can do is genuinely if, if I've determined through any means that there's something about myself that I need to change, I can do it like weirdly fast. Like um, things that I've observed other people, like they've been working on for their whole lives or something like that. I can conduct analysis on it and literally say like, okay, I need to correct this. And then the next day, I can start doing it almost. Um, and it's not hard for me for some reason, because it's just very, if this, then that. It's just factual. It's just real. Like my brain is wired to be ST. So it's not, I'm not, feelings aren't going to get in the way a lot of the time. Like emotional attachments, my brain isn't wired to perceive that as being an, as, as important. My beliefs, that's weird. Like my brain is kind of weirdly bent towards NT because of the double masculine NITI. So that's important, but I can like, it's almost like if something isn't the way I want, I'll, sh I'll force my NITI to change and say like, okay, what is it in this box that isn't, that's causing me not to present what I need to present in the ST world. Um, yeah, I think that's the best explanation of it. I'll probably just end up rambling too much if I keep going. So I think that's where I'm going to stop. I think that's really good, man. Like you can consume yourself. Like you can get the factual truths about yourself and then you can make quick um, changes um, right away. Like um, you don't have to wait. You don't have to think it through. You don't have the sleep processing. You don't have to sleep process it. You just fix it, you know, like because you're consuming that facts about yourself nonstop, you know? Yeah. Um, something I do want to say that's kind of weird though is, so I did type myself upside down. Part of that is because I thought about that a lot and I was like, well, I thought I saw myself clearly. And I think part of that is because I didn't understand the system perfectly when I was trying to figure out what I was. And also I had 50 people tell me I was like, Hey, you're definitely an INFJ. Like <laughs> tons of people that were in the MBTI system were like, you're definitely an INFJ. And I'm like, my brain does value the SETI. So I'm like, okay, that could make sense to a certain extent. Um, so I accept it because Factually speaking, the way that an INFJ is described in the MBTI is like they're a smart person that thinks about other people or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I would say I would definitely do that ultimately. <laughs> and um, I don't know. That's kind of a tough one. Um, but I don't know. I, de determining who you really are and what your strengths and weaknesses are is very complex compared to what people want to believe it is. Um and the OP system helps with that. But I think I'm pretty realistic about my strengths and weaknesses, ultimately. All right, thanks, dude. Um, I, I want to go to um, to Marco with this, because uh, Marco, you're an IP, right? So you're an ISTP and, you, you should, and you're asleep first. So you should have the best self-awareness uh, of all types, but you consume last. So are you able to gather what you are doing yourself? Like, can you gather the facts about yourself? Like, um, and see, you know, if you're doing something that's the right thing to do for yourself or not the right thing to do based on the facts that you've seen yourself uh, doing. Can you, can you see that? Can you consume yourself? Um, I, 
I usually solve my problems, uh, but usually not the best way with the best TE tool, so to speak. So I, I'll make it work eventually, and I don't track what anybody else is doing. It's just like I'm reinventing the wheel again, uh, and, and that's kind of how it goes. Uh, so I, I just a trial and error. That's kind of how I learn about myself, and just slowly building and, and building on a foundation, and that, that's kind of my process. Gotcha. So I guess that's why you have to crash and burn because the burn helps you consume yourself. Without the burn, there, there's nothing. Yeah. So the feed, I need a feedback loop. Exactly. So that's kind of my, my feedback loop. It's just testing, throwing shit at the wall, right? Uh, like that's kind of how I learn. Gotcha. That's, that's, that's an interesting way to do it. It's just, uh, it's, it's uniquely, uh, your, I guess that it's a sleep blast play way of using consumption. Yeah. It, it, it's uh, I know it's usually quite uh, funny to look at on the outside. It's like, yeah. how does she make it work? How did that happen? And, like, and I just go like, if this works for me and nobody else can copy it. And, like, uh, it's just, uh, just works, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. uh, sometimes it's brilliant and sometimes it's really suboptimal. And it's like, I could just uh, watch a video about it and it would be way better, right? So it, it goes both ways. It can, you can, it's like a mad scientist in a sense. You're a mad scientist, okay. Um, all right, um, so I'll pass this on to, to Joyce next. Um, so same thing, can you uh, talk about how you consume yourself? Yeah, I think having consume as a savior might have made it a little easier to type myself because I was able to, like I spend so much time consuming myself that I have a pretty good idea of who I was. So uh, I think I got my type relatively correct <laughs> in terms of OP before Dave and Shan typed me. And that was me consuming myself because I've done it like 24 years of my life. And so I tend to consume things and, and kind of see if it if it makes sense with who I am. So it's kind of like I'm really good at knowing if a description really actually sounds like me or if it's really like a part of the Barnum effect. Like I, I can tell if it seems like a general kind of astrological profile and I can tell when something actually does sound like me. So I'm pretty sharp in that sense. And I find that um, I tend to cons like to consume things that that do describe who like they, they do describe my cognitive process accurately or else I'll kind of discount it. So if something after a while like of reading it, I'm like a eh, bad source of learning, <laughs> I might just cut it off because I, I know myself pretty well and I kind of use myself as the, th the thermometer or to to bet if that data is is good data. So oftentimes from consuming, like knowing thyself, I know when something doesn't reflect thyself. So uh, sometimes I'll just stop consuming that source. So it, knowing myself causes a selectivity with what source I'm going to take it from in the future. I tend to be pretty open. And then after a while, I prune the sources as they seem inaccurate. <laughs> gotcha. And then uh, Rob, you're the last guy here. So you're you're an interesting case, Rob, because you are an ENFJ. Um, seeing yourself would technically be the hardest if you were the standard ENFJ, but you're not. You are like the you're the jumper. You're consuming a savior state. Um, it might it's be okay, stressful. Kendrick. You can call me a freak. So okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Your word, man. <laughs> you're dancing around it. All right. So um, yeah. So how do you how do you uh, how do you consume yourself? And is it super stressful, like knowing that you you can see all the facts about yourself all day long? Because it's it's like it's your, it's your third and fourth function, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's so I mean, there, there's definitely some good and bad to it because, as, as Joyce mentioned before, I also struggle with some like self doubt type stuff. Um, really not sure like is this truly a, a thing that's true about me or not like really trying to question that stuff so like Byron Katie's work where she um asks like do, do you truly know if this is true that that kind of stuff is really powerful for me um even with uh consume as a savior um but basically I, I just wanted to point out like we we think of consume as like being almost se then ti like it's it's because it just like sounds like it's this gathering component, but it, it can also be like, I have this TI framework, how does that relate to this experience? 
how does that relate to this data that someone's telling me like like what i was bringing up before when someone was telling me like oh i did this thing this thing this thing it's like wait no that doesn't sound right <laughs> from what i understand that that does not that doesn't compute so you must have done something incorrectly like you're not telling me something that you did so uh, that that's another way you can kind of do it um and I think the same thing's true for like Blast as well, because like people think, oh, Blasters can't like acquire anything, but they like read tons of books. So that, it's, that's not consuming that they're taking known information and then they're relaying it. They're not like challenging it against themselves. So yeah. that's that's another thing, um, but that's a tangent. <laughs> um, but can I see myself? I, I feel like I can and like the OP system stuff, like I type myself incorrectly as well. Um, like most people do. <laughs> uh, and that's really just like trying to understand the system itself and how you relate that to that. Um, so you can like see like, oh, I know myself, but how do I fit into this system that's really complex and like, yeah. And, and maybe you're not looking at the saviors and demon states. Maybe you're just looking at your strengths and weaknesses, which is what you might know better because that's how people normally think of themselves. They're not like, oh, I'm like freaking out in this scenario and I'm not, not freaking out in this scenario because that's not stuff you look at because that's like stuff your ego <laughs> that keeps you from looking at. Um, so I'm tangenting again. Maybe we should just toss it back to you, Kendrick. Okay, well, be before, we, <laughs> before we finish up with you, Rob, we're not done with you yet. Uh, oh no! Because I know you're using a lot of use in your talk. You're doing you're doing the EJ thing. You were like, you know, like I asked you, but instead of using I, you went you 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 this person this person. I'm like, no no no, we gotta go back to you, Rob. Um, I'll have to watch this back. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Um, no, because I. Anyways, I, I lost my train of thought there. Damn, I have masculine and I have feminine and E, so I always forget, forget things. Um, what was I going to say now? Okay, well, it flew out of my head now. So um, I was going to ask you about the consuming the facts about yourself um, and what is true about about you. That, that that not not because of other people's opinion, but from what you've seen yourself do. And you were talking about strengths and weaknesses earlier. So you must know what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. And your strengths would be your strengths and weaknesses would be what's true for you. So can you see your strengths and weaknesses and are you aware of your strengths and weaknesses? And can you name those strengths and weaknesses? Not all of them, but just like, you know, and I said, as an example, just like one, one each or something. Um, I mean, that's kind of hard because I don't think of just like, like I have feminine sensory, so I don't think of just like, oh, this is like something that I'm really good at doing necessarily. Like I'm good at playing Magic the Gathering. Like that's, is that, does that count? Like, is that too it general? Does. Or yeah, yeah, it does. Like, there you go. You got it. Um, I'm good at making people laugh, stuff like that. This is really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> people don't do this. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll spare you. We're good. We're good. We, we... <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't want to. All right, guys. So, um, what's that? I said, tell us more good things about you. I was messing with it. <laughs> no, no, thank you. All right. One of right. the good things about me is that I don't talk about all the good things about me. <laughs> all right. Oh, we don't. We don't need that. Okay. Don't, don't worry. We're not here to cause any like live tidal waves. So we'll just. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let's make it happen real time. Let's see some tidal waves. <laughs> yeah, Manly's like, yeah, let's do it, chaos. You know. But like, <laughs> chaos, <laughs> Uh, and then Marco's like, oh, better you than me. I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I love it. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so we'll, we'll wrap up the consume part um, of your specific types 